Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara, I am a 39 year old mother of five, beauty and fitness lover. Today I have done a spring inspired look with my Industrial 2 and Wild Star palettes from Isamea Beauty. I think it turned out great. My brows are on and I used the Kaleidos primer for my eyes. I did set my crease because I just kind of feel like with these shadows, I can get away with setting them and I'm hoping it'll last all day. This is a very underrated brand. But before I actually do my eyes, I'm going to put some powder down on my cheeks because I don't want a bunch of fallout and I knew I'm gonna get a bunch of fallout, so. So this is the Wild Star palette. This one is actually really beautiful and very underrated. Honestly, I'm not sure why it's so underrated, but that's okay. I'm gonna take this mid-tone brown shade here in the palette, and I'm gonna start by putting that in my crease. I don't think I wanna do this eye first because this eye tends to be a little more difficult for me. I'm not gonna bring this shade all the way into my inner corner because I'm gonna put most of my shimmer here in the inner corner and do a touch of a butterfly effect. At least that's what I call it. I've got something itching me over here. Don't use your fingers to itch. I've made that mistake plenty of times. I'm just gonna concentrate this over here on the outside half of my eye. The Isamea Matte Formula is very, very good. I'm gonna take a refer 14. I'm gonna go into the deeper brown shade here. I'm gonna be careful how much I build up this crease. I'm not gonna pick up any additional product. I'm just gonna buff this out. a touch patchy right there that hasn't happened to me before I'm not sure if it's because my eyelids are dry I've I've definitely used this palette enough that's not happened before it could just be that I set my primer this time but I'm gonna leave that alone for the time being I'm actually gonna switch over to the industrial 2.0 palette there is beautiful shades in here I haven't even touched this yet I'm so guilty of buying it because I was so excited for it and entranced by it. And I really truly think entranced is the right word. These shadows are so captivating. I had to have it, but then I never, I never got around to playing with it. And it's just, I've always wanted to, I just never had the time. So I'm making the time today and I'm gonna love every minute of it. This green shade here is calling to me. I feel like I definitely wanna use this green. I'm gonna take a domed brush, this is the Refer 12. I'm gonna pick up that pastel green shade, which is actually perfect for the month of March. I think the domed brush will give me the effect I'm looking for. And this is actually a great way to incorporate color. If you only like a little bit of color, putting it right on the inside corner of your eye. Obviously, you don't have to go crazy like I'm doing. I'm gonna very quickly swap back into the Wild Star palette and pick up the lightest shade here in the palette. This is my Sonia G Worker Pro. One of my favorite lay down brushes. Oh yeah, there's definitely something up with my lid. It's definitely a little bit drier than normal. I can see some dryness here that my shadows are sticking to, and I've used this formula enough to know that does not happen. I'm gonna take my Lisa Eldridge Eye Coal. I'm just going to tight line. I can hear my little man downstairs, so I'm gonna take a quick break and go settle him. Okay, I swear we're getting somewhere. Fed the baby, got him calm. Now we're gonna do the Lisa Eldridge Kitten Flick Liner. I was so thoroughly impressed on my first attempt using this and I just know 
this is gonna be a new favorite for me. I like to make a very, very thin line right at my lash line before getting started with my wing. <sighs> Moment of truth because it is so hard when you have a hooded eye. Perfect. Let <laughs> Darn you camera lighting. Okay. Other than the obnoxious camera lighting changing on me, I cannot wait to upgrade this camera one day, but I'm gonna go ahead and perfect my line off camera. I'm gonna start by going ahead and curling my lashes. I'm gonna use my kitten flick. No, not kitten flick, that's the liner I just used. I'm gonna use my kitten lash mascara by Lisa Eldridge. I'm actually gonna take my Natasha Denona eye crayon. This one is in the shade. Where is the name? I do not know, Camu Camu. I'm gonna put this in my waterline. My eyes are tearing up like crazy, so let's use the Kitten Lash Mascara from Lisa Eldridge, my new favorite. This I find gives me a lot of length, which is great because I have like sparse lashes who are very stubby. Now that I've got my mascara on, I actually think I do wanna do a little something to my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a rougher brush, this is the 23. It is a very, very tiny pencil brush. I'm gonna go in with this deep brown and a touch of black. And I'm actually just going to very, very carefully put this at my lower lash line. That looks a lot better with a little something on the lower lash line. I kind of want to put a little pop in my inner corner, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use this shade or this shade. I think, depending on the undertone, I kind of want to go in with this shade here. Let me swatch them both. It has a bit of a green reflect to it. These are both very wet, sparkly looking shades. Let me swatch them. I kind of prefer the undertone. There's like a little green shift. This one is more of the topper shade. This one's more of the green shifty shade. This one has like a high sparkle effect to it. But this one has that green shift. Let's try the green shift first. That's gorgeous, oh my God. And like I said, I haven't used this palette before, so I, I definitely was not expecting that intensity. Okay, I'm very carefully gonna take a little bit more of that and gently Bring it into my inner lid here. That looks beautiful. Holy crap. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna take what's left on my finger of this original shifty, well not shifty, but this sparkly shade here. I still have quite a bit on my finger. I'm going to very gently press that up here for a little bit of a pulp. You guys know I like to put a little bit of sparkle up on my brow bone. Okay, you could very easily leave this eye look just like this. I will touch up my waterline a bit with the, the pencil when my eyes have had time. But you could very, very easily just leave it like this. I need to wear my falsies though, I just do. <laughs> I can't help myself, I'm sorry. Kiss released and they sold out so fast, the new natural collection. These are pretty big though. They're called Clean and Defined with a Lifted Effect. Uh, they're actually called High Bun. These lashes are gorgeous. I actually trimmed off the outer edge here and then placed them over the top of the new edge I created for a little extra volume. 
The overall look of these lashes is gorgeous. I love them. So we're gonna finish off the face because I just need to get done. I've been interrupted a lot. I'm gonna just speed through my face makeup, my bronzer, and my blush, and then come back and finish off with my lips. Okay, I wanna finish this up. I ended up going on a lipstick spree. I'm kinda of kicking myself because I told myself, stop buying lipsticks, use what I have. But I bought lipstick this week. And I'm gonna end up doing a video, a short or a reel, whatever you wanna call it, on all the lipsticks I bought. But today I just wanna use the Hourglass lipsticks. This is the new, or relatively new rather, Soft matte lipstick. I bought mine in the shade Foxglove 356 and I was super intrigued by the lip liner. I know it's lip liner. I've got a ton of lip liner, especially in nudes. I definitely did not need a lip liner. Ugh. But I bought Expose number one and it is just so beautiful. And I genuinely think that this shade will work for foxglove and I don't really have it in this more neutral beigey undertone in my collection anyway so I know I did not need it but I was telling myself I need it and I, I will be careful and try not to buy another lip liner for a while especially a nude. I have not picked up any of the other hourglass lipsticks the component to this is so cute I love the bunny I think that is just adorable. It is a magnetic closure. I think that is neat. The cap though is very lightweight, feels a little cheap, but it's magnetic. So that's a plus. The shade is so cute. I'm hoping, oh, I got a little close to the liner so it covered up the liner, I'm sorry. But that is such a pretty neutral tone. I love it. And I'll keep you posted on the longevity of the lip liner. Oh, I hope this is good. It's very smooth. It's very creamy. I like it. I'm not having any trouble controlling the pencil. I am really excited about this shade. I don't know why, it's just lipstick, but I love it. It's so pretty. I may have a touch too much oil, but it might help with this matte. Ooh. It's a very soft, pleasing vanilla scent. I love that. I'm gonna do a little bit more of a blotted look. I know I have a lot of lip oil on and I dabbed off quite a bit, but that is beautiful. And it feels so comfortable. The lip oil helps and I'm gonna wear it anyway. I prefer matte and satin lipsticks. I'm not big on glosses, I really am not. I'm the opposite side of the spectrum where I like more matte looks. This is just heavenly. I don't know about you guys, but I love how this turned out. I am so excited to wear it for the rest of the day. Isamea is really incredible. These formulas are so good. I know Wildstar was not her biggest hit. There's not a whole lot of hype around it. That's okay. I think the matte formulas are great. 
I think the shimmers in here are just as good as the shimmers in the industrial and the industrial 2.0. These are so good and I'm so happy that she is innovative and she's kind of like, in my opinion, taking the reins from where Pat McGrath has left off because these shadows are just as good and I'm excited to see what she launches this year. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Everything on my face is gonna be listed down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.